A North Georgia cold case made history, becoming the first crime where scientists identified both a murder victim and the killer through forensic genetic genealogy. The homicide occurred in 1988 in Dade County. 11 Alive's Don White got an inside look at how genetic genealogy works and the complexities. She had been known as Jane Doe for 34 years, but now she has a name, Stacy Chahorsky, and her family finally has closure thanks to groundbreaking forensic science. She was found uh, at such an advanced state of uh, decomposition that she was unidentifiable. David Metalman, so, who leads genomic science company Othram, says the first part of genetic genealogy is DNA extraction. Maybe you've got some skeletal remains, you've you know grinded up the bone, You've then put in some chemicals that releases all the material and all the cells in the bone. Scientists isolate non-DNA pieces and then begin forensic grade genomic sequencing. We go and look at the DNA molecule using chemistry in this big machine. The lab builds a family tree by finding people in a database who consented to have their DNA on file with law enforcement. And they may not be a close relative, it may not be the mom or the dad or the or the or the sibling might be a first cousin or a second cousin or a third cousin or a fourth cousin. That technology also found Chahorsky's killer, this man, truck driver Henry Wise. You can imagine it's like you're putting a puzzle together. You've got a bunch of pieces that you know where they go because you see the picture on the box. And then you've got this one piece that you don't know where it goes. But as you fill in the puzzle, there's fewer and fewer spots that puzzle piece could fit. That puzzle finally saw the case of this girl who died at just 19 years old and gave this sketch a name. I expect next year there'll be larger groups and larger teams that are composed of individual groups that, that want to come together and kind of do this in mass. The company says traditional CODIS testing looks at around 20 DNA markers, but they examine thousands of markers, making it more accurate. You can learn more about this cutting edge technology and its use in Georgia cases by going to our website, 11alive.com.